All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an extremely simple, quick, easy rigatoni pasta with sausage. We're gonna get everything prepped up ahead of time. Not gonna take you long at all. Literally anybody can make it, so stick around, guys. Check it out, here we go. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, get some prep going. Got a handful of cherry tomatoes. All I'm gonna do is just slice these in half. Got a few cloves of garlic, bash those down. I got right here, some mild Italian sausage. This is about a pound. I'm using a little more than half a pound, about like that much right there. Just leave that off to the side. And like I said, rigatoni pasta, this is a pound in a box. I'm using between like a third and a half of this box right here. So I'm gonna just pour that in and kind of eyeball it. Doesn't need to be exact, but that's that. Then for some fresh herbs at the end, I'm gonna throw in some Italian parsley. You could use basil if you wanna use that, or you could use both, or you could leave it out all together. So I know a lot of people out there hate anything green. I know they always say don't over chop the herbs on the board because all the oils are gonna go into the board, but I find it doesn't even make a difference, so don't even worry about it. Just don't go crazy, I would say. Then finally, the last thing I'm gonna use is some Pecorino Romano. I got this right here. This is a sheep's milk Italian cheese. If you wanna use Parmesan, uh, that's a cow's milk cheese. It just depends on what you like. I like the funkiness of this, so I'm just gonna use that. All right, so there it is, basic ingredients. We got the sausage, garlic, tomatoes, parsley, Pecorino cheese, and the pasta. That's all you're gonna need. So we're gonna throw this all together right now. Get a pot of water going. A little kosher salt up in there. Let that come to a boil. So I already got a timer going for that rigatoni pasta. It's 12 minutes until al dente. So what I usually do is take the pasta out about a minute, minute and a half before it's actually done cooking and throw it in the pan, combine everything together, and it's gonna be done after that. So I'm using a stainless steel pan right here, as you can see. I'm gonna get a little bit of olive oil just to coat the bottom of the pan. So I'm going on medium high heat. You get the sausage in there. So the reason why I'm using the stainless steel pan is because when this starts to fry up, the sausage is gonna to stick to the bottom and it's gonna create the fond, which is what you want. You want the little bits sticking to the bottom. Um, use whatever pan you got. I mean, really doesn't matter all that much, but for this recipe, it's gonna work best like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some starchy pasta water and kind of deglaze the bottom and get all those bits up. It's gonna create flavor. It's gonna be some good shear. Also, if you have some white wine, you could deglaze it with the white wine also. I just don't have any, so. Got the garlic going in there. I'm just gonna cook that for like less than a minute. I don't want it to burn up. So when I put that pasta water in there, it's gonna like stop the garlic from cooking, so you'll be all right. Also got the cherry tomatoes going in. A little bit of salt, not too much, because the pasta water has salt, plus the cheese has salt. And some black pepper. A little red pepper flakes for some spice. You go with that pasta water. the cheese kill the heat just let it sit here for like 30 45 seconds let things calm down because if you put the cheese in it's gonna get all stringy and clumpy and it's not gonna be a good deal so just let this hang out for a little bit
So there it is guys. Like I said, easy pasta recipe. Didn't take long at all. Ooh. Dude, that's freaking amazing. Really good. I love the funkiness and the saltiness you get from the pecorino cheese. A little spiciness. I love Italian parsley. I always put a lot whenever I make pastas. I throw a bunch in there, so. This turned out really good. Give it a try. You won't be dissatisfied. But like always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Peace out.